Well, uh, thanks, officer. I think I'd better go right up to the office with you. What you're carrying represents a lot of dough. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Hey, buddy. Huh? I know you can take care of yourself, but haven't you forgot something? Why, no, I don't think so. How about the security? <laughs> don't worry about me. But this came up very unexpectedly. I have to go to Boston tonight. I'll be away a few days. Well, you'll have to get somebody else to take you to the theater. Well, here the security is a whole hundred thousand dollars worth. Boy, another trip like that and I won't be worth a plugged nickel. Mr. Wentworth is talking to his wife. And is she giving him the works? Kitty, you shouldn't do that. It's part of my job. And you keep doing that, and someday you'll hear something you don't want to hear. Uh-huh. I've already heard it. I'm sorry if you feel that way about it. I'll talk to you when I get back. Goodbye, dear. Yes, Miss O'Day? Mr. Wentworth, Johnny is here with the securities. Have him bring them in. Johnny, you may go right in. Johnny is here. My dear young lady, when a man is entrusted with the amount of money that's in that little bag, he should at least be announced as uh, Mr. Jones. There, let that be a lesson to you. Here you are, sir. Thank you, Johnny. Is that all, sir? Yes, Johnny, and thanks. Come on, Kitty, let's go. I can't leave till Miss Wentworth tells me I can. It's after six o'clock. We still gotta eat. We'll miss the opening of the first act. I haven't seen a show yet from beginning to end since you took this job. Well, don't you worry, darling. I'll explain the whole thing to you at dinner. Listen, this time we're gonna do it my way. You go tell him you're leaving right now. I can't leave till Mr. Wentworth tells me to. I can't leave till Mr. Wentworth tells me to. Mr. Wentworth this, Mr. Wentworth that. Wentworth, Wentworth, Wentworth! Yes, Johnny, what is it? Well, I was just telling her... Well, uh, that is, I, uh, I... Uh... Johnny was remarking about Wentworth, you know. You see, Johnny just has the common little old common name of Jones. Oh. I'm going to Boston for a couple of days. Yes, I know. Eh? Hey? Hmm? Oh, I said, oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I want you to go to the railroad station and get me a berth and a ticket. Yes, and bring sir. it to the house. Bring your notebook. I have a couple of letters I want you to take. Tonight? Yes. Oh. Certainly, Mr. Wentworth. Good night, Mr. Day. Good, Good night, Johnny. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Wentworth. Good night. I'm going to Boston. Get me a ticket. Come to my house. Bring your notebook. Who does that guy think he is, anyway? I assure you, it must be very important or he wouldn't have asked me to do it. Well, what we were going to do tonight is important, too, or I wouldn't have asked you to do it. Oh. The way that guy acts, you'd think all your time belonged to him. And two tickets to a good show going to waste, and they cost me four forty dollars apiece. That's $8.80. Well, it seems to me you worry more about the money than you do about me. Ah, oh, don't be silly. Eight dollars and eighty cents means nothing to me. Well, stop grouching. Groucho. Eight dollars and eighty cents. Just means I have to go without lunch and cigarettes for the rest of the week, that's all. He only asked me to go to his house to do some work. Now, what's wrong with that? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. He's trying to make a play for you. Don't shove. I can hear you. In fact, everybody can hear you. I don't care if the whole world hears me. I could murder that guy, Wentworth. Johnny Jones. I think you actually mean that. You're darn right I mean it. Taxi lady? Yes, take me to the Union Station. But, Kitty, don't you want me to drive you there? No, thanks. You can take that bad humor of yours to the theater, and you can use both seats. Good night, Mr. Jones. Oh, Kitty. And 
another thing. What's the matter with the name of Jones? The Joneses have made history. There's John Paul Jones and uh, Casey Jones and Davy Jones Locker and uh, Emperor Jones and uh, Bobby Jones and uh, all the Jones boys. Hey, lady, that fellow you was talking to was kind of riled up. What's he mad at that Wentworth fella for? Just watch the road. Oh, don't worry about that, lady. Only he shouldn't go around saying he was going to kill people. It don't sound good. Besides, he's liable to get in trouble. Driver, I wish you'd mind your own business. Your business is driving this cab. Oh, I don't want you to think I'm nosy, lady. But you know the old saying, little pig has got big ears. <sighs> you flatter yourself. dark in there, miss. Yes, it is. That's funny. Are you sure somebody lives here? Quite sure. Keep the change. Oh, thanks. You don't want me to wait for you, do you? No, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Charles. Good evening, Miss O'Day. Good evening. Won't you come in? I give the candle, Charles. Uh, the light went out suddenly, but I phoned the company. They're sending someone to fix it. Oh. Perhaps Mr. Wentworth forgot to put a quarter of the meter. <laughs> You're right, Charles. That wasn't so funny. Uh, Mr. Wentworth will join you in the study. He's taking a shower. You better take this, miss. It's uh, rather dark upstairs. Were you calling me, miss? Oh, Charles. Yes. Were you in the hallway a minute ago? Why, no, miss. Well, that's funny. I thought I heard something. Maybe it was Mr. Wentworth. Why, it, uh, it couldn't be Mr. Wentworth. He's still in the shower. Oh. Well, I hope he hasn't forgotten he has to catch a train at 11.20. It's five past nine now. I'm sure he'll be out quite soon. Is that all? Yes. Oh, uh, you won't want this, will you? Oh, no.
Mr. Wentworth. Mr. Wentworth. Suicide, eh, Chief? Just like we both thought. I don't know, Mike. After looking this noose over, I, I'm kind of puzzled. Well, Chief, if you're puzzled, I'm puzzled, too. Well, what do you say, Doc? Suicide, huh? No, murder. And not by hanging. His lungs are filled with water. You mean he was drowned? You mean the hanging was just a cover-up to make it look like suicide? Yes, and done very crudely. Crudely? I'd say whoever done it was very neat. Neat? Yeah, neat. After they drowned him, they hung him up to dry. Come on. Well, Miss O'Day, may I ask what you're doing? I just want to know what was going on in there, that's all. I'll tell you what went on in there. Mr. Oliver Wentworth didn't commit suicide, he was murdered. Do you know what I think, Inspector? No, I don't, and I don't care what you think. And furthermore, I don't care what you think, Charles. Where's Charles? He went downstairs. I told both of you to stay right here in this room. Now, why did he leave? Well, I told him to. You told him to, and why? Well, he had to go downstairs, and I told him it was all right. Well, how do you like that? Well, you go downstairs when you want to, don't you? That's different. I'm making an investigation. And from now on, I want you to be quiet. Yeah, you be quiet. And you too. Okay, Chief. But if you want my opinion... Oh, no, you keep it. I can't use it. But you might as well take it, Chief. It's no good to me. Will you get out of here and bring Charles back? Okay, Chief. Here's them things. I thought you said Mr. Wentworth was going to Boston. Yes, he was. I bought the ticket for him. And where is the ticket? It's right here on the desk, with a note and a cigarette lighter. It's gone. They're all gone. Of course they're gone. I don't believe there ever was a note, a cigarette lighter, or a ticket to Boston. Because Mr. Wentworth was going to South America, and here's the ticket to prove it. South America? Yes. Did you say South America? Yes. Now another thing. Who are you? I'm Steve Robert Jeffers, Mr. Wentworth's lawyer, Inspector Clancy. I never did know your first name. Quiet. Let him answer the question. Who are you? I'm Robert Jeffers. Mr. Wentworth phoned and asked me to come out here tonight with some very important papers he was going to take with him. I see. What time did you get here? Oh, I'd say about 15 minutes ago. No, it was about 20 minutes ago, Mr. Jeffers. <sighs> Let's step over here. So now, Mr. Jeffers. I must say, Inspector, I'm shocked beyond words to hear about poor Oliver. Why anyone should want to murder him is a mystery to me. Well, right now, it's a mystery to me, too. But one thing we do know, the motive for the crime wasn't robbery. We found $500 on the body. Oh, then the securities are safe also. Securities? What securities? The ones he was taking with him. That's right, Inspector. I was in the office today when they were delivered. We searched his clothes, his bag, the entire bedroom. There are no securities. But as soon as Mike brings Charles back, I'm going to question him again. Something tells me that butler knows more than he's told me. Oh, instead of wasting your time with Charles, why don't you go after the real murderers? And pray, who may the real murderers be? Why, someone who'd benefit by his death. Mrs. Wentworth and Harry Downs. Harry Downs? Yes. Who's Harry Downs? A very good friend of hers. How dare you say a thing like that about Mrs. Wentworth? Why, you and I both know that Mr. Wentworth and his wife never got along. I'm afraid the shock of this thing is preying on your imagination. No, it isn't. It isn't Well, it at must all. be. Either that or you've gone... Thing Wait a minute, you two. Remember me? Well, I... Look at what I found, Chief. Why, Johnny, what are you doing here? Well, I just came out in case, in case you might need me. Who are you? Well, I'm Johnny... Uh, he was with me. With you? Yes. Is there anybody you don't know? Well, yes, there are a lot of people I don't know. Oh, I... quiet. Where did you find him? Out on the grounds, laying under a tree, sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. I told you I was hit in the head. What were you doing on the grounds anyway? Well, I came well, out... I, I told you he was with me. He brought me out here and he was waiting for me. And, and while he was waiting, someone hit him in the head and he was knocked out. So, you see, he couldn't have killed Mr. Wentworth. Killed Mr. Wentworth? Yes, darling. He was murdered and no one seems to know who did it. Miss O'Day, will you please be quiet? Will you please let me ask the questions? And will you let me tell people who's been killed? And will you let me tell people personally I don't know who did it? Yes, and when the inspector says he don't know who did it, the inspector don't know who done it. Shut up! A thousand pardons, Chief. Bring him over here. Get over there. Now, let's get down to business. Did you bring him out here tonight? Well, yes, I... he did. What's your name? I'm... Johnny Jones. What do you do? Well, he works in the same firm that... All right, all right. Now it's his turn. 
I'm an accountant for Mr. Wentworth. I see. Johnny, what were you doing out here on the grounds, and how did you get out here? Well, I told you he was with me. Don't you remember? But she told you she came out here in a taxi cab. That's right, Mike. Thanks. You're welcome, Chief, I'm sure. Well, young lady, what have you got to say about that? That's right. Johnny and I were in the taxi cab. We were sitting in the back seat, and the cab driver was in the front seat. No. Yes. And then when the cab drove up to the house, the cab stopped. And otherwise, if it hadn't stopped, it would have gone by the house. And, uh, well, the cab stopped, and, and Johnny and I got out, and Johnny and I were here. And that's the story. I learned an awful lot from your story. I'm now convinced that every taxi cab should have a driver. Please, will you let him answer this question? Of course. Johnny, you knew that Mr. Wentworth intended leaving town tonight, didn't you? Yeah. Do you know why he was leaving town? Pardon me for interrupting, Inspector, but perhaps Johnny can tell us something about the security. Secu yeah, what about the security? Well, all I know is he had me pick them up at the bank and deliver them to him personally, just before he left the office. Oh, fine. You're the only one who knew he had the securities on him. They're missing. You were found on the grounds. So I'm arresting you for the murder of Oliver Wentworth. But you can't do that. Oh, I can't, huh? No. And what's more, I'm holding you as a material witness and probably as an accomplice. Now, what do you say to that? Now, Inspector, let me show you where you're wrong. You're not going to show me anything. I've heard enough from you. Didn't that big helper of yours say that he found Johnny on the grounds? And didn't he say that Johnny was asleep? Well, yes. Well, he wasn't asleep. He was knocked out. And you mean to say that Johnny came in this house, drowned Mr. Wentworth, hung him up, then hid the securities, then went out and lay down under a tree and hit himself in the head? Hmm? Why don't you take my badge and let me go home? All right, all right, folks, I admit I'm wrong. Yeah, but, Chief, I got a hand it to you. When you're wrong, you're really 100% wrong. Mrs. Wentworth. Oh, Robert, it isn't true about Oliver. I'm afraid it is. Oh, Harry. Take it easy, kid. How did it happen? Just a minute. Just a minute. I'll ask the questions. You're Harry Downs, aren't you? That's right. Mrs. Wentworth, your butler Charles said that you and Mr. Downs left here about 7 o'clock and went to the theater. Yes, we did. How long has Charles been in your employ? For several years. Why? Well, he disappeared and it don't look so good for him. Oh, nonsense, Inspector. We have implicit faith in him. Well, I haven't. Me neither. Shut up. Mrs. Wentworth, I know this may be a little upsetting to you, but I must ask you a few questions. Certainly, Inspector, but may I sit down? Certainly. I presume your relations with your husband was harmonious and happy. Certainly. Ha, ha, ha. And just what do you mean by that? I always laugh when I hear something funny. Oh, you do, do you? Well, let me tell you something I don't think is so very funny. I never approved of your visits to this house with my husband. Well, I happen to know that Mr. Wentworth didn't approve of Harry Downs either. Why, you little, you busy, oh, you wait a, a minute. Leave him alone. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. minute. Break it up, break it up. Well, but that's a lie, Inspector. My husband was very fond of Harry. We never had one word about him. In fact, we very seldom had words about anything. Yeah, but Charles told me that you and your husband had quite an argument this morning. And you accused him of running away and warned him not to do it. Oh, I always thought Charles was a sneaking busybody. Oh, I thought you said you had implicit faith in Charles. Will you be quiet? Oh, this has been a terrible ordeal. I, I, I'm so confused. May I be excused? Yes, you may go. Thank you. Oh, Harry, after what's happened, I couldn't spend the night here. Take me to my apartment in town. Yes, dear. In case I want to question you further, what's the address? Spanton Arms, apartment 932. Make a note of that, Mike. I'll memorize it. Oh, just a moment, Mr. Uh, Downs. Where can I reach you? At the Fenton Arms. What apartment? 931. How cozy. Thank you, Inspector. You've been very kind. And you too, Mike. You're very sweet. Don't mention it. Coming along, Robert? I think so. You two kids can go. Officer, will you hand me my coat? But remember, stick close to where you live. Yes, Inspector. And thank you, Inspector. You've been very kind. Oh, and you too, Mike. You've been so sweet. In fact, you're just dripping with personality. Just dripping with charm. Yeah? Yeah. Good night, Drip. Come on. All right. I know Inspector Clancy isn't going to like this. Okay, Joe. Uh, oh, excuse me. We'd like to see Inspector Clancy. Inspector Clancy. Come on, honey, let's get out of here before it's too late. You don't seem to realize we're under suspicion of murder, and that cab driver heard you say you'd like to kill Wentworth. What's your name? Don't you see? Same as. Hmm? 
What's your name? O'Day. Just tell him Miss O'Day. Uh, Miss O'Day. Okay. We'll be right out. Darling, don't be nervous and let me do all the talking this time. This time? Well, what is it? Oh, Inspector Clancy, I've discovered something you probably didn't even think about. It struck me just like that. Oh, it did, eh? Yes. I'm almost sure that Mrs. Wentworth and Harry Downs committed this murder. I can show you... Look, look, girlie, we through. checked on Mrs. Wentworth and Harry Downs thoroughly. They went to the Lyceum Theater to see a play called Lady Let's Dance. Hey, is that a good show? I don't know why. Well, that's the show that ate up my lunch money. I, what's that got to do with it? With what? The murder. I don't know. Oh, I, lunch money. Look, Mrs. Wentworth and Harry Downs were seen going into the Lyceum Theater in time for the first act and leaving right after the third and last act. Now, what have you got to say about that? Well, how about the second act? I don't know. I didn't see the play. Neither did I. Well, why in the world couldn't they leave the theater after the first act, commit the murder, and come back in time for the third act? Why mm -hmm. don't you stop interfering with the police? Why don't you search their apartments? Young man, if you don't keep this... Pair, <coughs> quiet, to... please. Supposed... If you don't keep her away from me, I'm going to lock her up as a nuisance. Come on, Kitty, let's get out of here. Inspector Clancy, I'll never help you again as long as I live. That's the best news I've had this year. I mean it, believe me. I'm sincere. It's final. <laughs> a thousand pardons, Chief. Ah, oh, you big mallet head. Why don't you watch where you're going? I knew this would happen, Kitty. You've got to stop interfering with the police. Get in the car. You did it. I stood by and let you have your own way too much. Now I'm putting my foot down. Yes, Johnny. Good. Johnny, there's some place I'd like to go before we go home. All right, where do you want to go? 248 East Park Terrace. Okay. What do you want to stop here for, honey? Say, this is the Fenton Arms where Mrs. Wentworth and Harry Downs live. That's right. Wait a minute. Pull the last one on me, baby. Yes, ma'am, you certainly put one over on me. Is Mrs. Oliver Wentworth in? No, Mrs. Wentworth is out. Well, well is Harry Downs out, too? Yes, they went out together. Well, that's fine. Come on, Johnny. Uh, just a moment, miss. Hmm? Apparently, you didn't understand me. Mrs. Wentworth and Mr. Downs are both out. Well, that's all right. We'll wait for them upstairs. Uh, but you can't do that. You might wait here, if you like, or come back later. Uh, thanks very much, well, sir. We'll come back friends. much later. Come, dear. Find a way to get into their apartments. Don't be silly. We can't get by the desk clerk. If you just be quiet and let me figure a way. I don't care what you figure out. I'm not going back into that building again. You tricked me into bringing you down here, but now I know what's what. This is as far as I go. I don't care who killed who. Johnny, I'm only doing it for you. Don't keep saying you're doing it for me. If it hadn't been for you, I wouldn't have been mixed up in this murder in the first place. Oh, I see you've decided to wait here. Yeah, yeah, we decided to wait here. <laughs> now I don't know which way to turn. I gotta sit here. I can't go outside. Kitty, I don't... Kitty! 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 Hey, Kitty, Kitty. Kitty, Kitty. Hey, Kitty, Kitty. I uh, thought I saw a cat. I see the young lady has left. Decided she couldn't wait. Yeah, yeah. She had to leave. Must be the weather. Yeah, it must be the weather. Come on. Come on. 
come on. This has gone far enough. Do you think all you have to do is to tell me to come on and all I have to do is to follow you like a little puppy dog? Oh, Johnny, this is a desperate emergency. Well, Johnny, there's no use looking for us here. It must be around the corner. We were just looking for the elevator. Kitty, you've got to pay attention to me. I don't know what's going through that beautiful head of yours, but whatever it is, forget it, because we're not going to do it. Uh, did you hear what I said? Yes, darling. This is it. Now, you search Mrs. Wentworth's apartments, and I'll search Harry down. You know something? What? Love certainly does funny things to a guy. Look at me. Johnny, work fast and look everywhere. Oh, give me my stuff. Johnny, where are you? Is there something you want? Hmm? Is there something you want? Oh, no, ma'am. I was just about to tidy up the place a bit. I was. Well, all right, but go at it quietly. Oh, yes, ma'am. You won't hear a beep out of me. Not a beep. Not a beep, Mama. Go help me.
didn't hurt you. Come on, let's get out of here. I made an awful mess. Oh! What's going on here? And what are you doing with that lamp? Well, it's just one of those days, Miss. Every time I get something in me mitt, my hands turn to water. And what's all this mess? Oh, I fell down, Miss. Stumbled right over my own feet, I did. Ain't I the clumsy one? Clean up this mess and get out of here. Be Operator, get me the police and hurry. 12th Precinct, police station. Sergeant Kelly speaking. This is Harry Downs at the Fenton Arms. I want to report my apartment was just burglarized. Okay, we'll be right over. Kelly, did you say Harry Downs? Yes, his apartment was burglarized today. Give me that. That Downs guy is one of the most important witnesses in the Wentworth case. Come on, Mike. All right, Jim, Kaczynski, come with us. George, I just called the police. The police? Yeah, my apartment's been burglarized. You know, now that you mention it, I've had a strange feeling myself. I feel that somebody's been watching me. Yeah? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Well, aren't you going to wait for the police? No, it isn't necessary. I'll have the clerk let them in. Right. Now, let's get out of here, will you please? Now we're locked in. We can't get out. Oh, hello, Inspector. Hello, Mr. Downs. We got here as soon as we could. I'd like to take a look at your apartment. Certainly. While you're at it, Inspector, take a look at my apartment. Some strange... And whatever you do, don't look down. Huh? Don't look down. your apartment, Mr. Downs. Jim, you come with us. Kaczynski, you stay here. Yeah, Kaczynski, stay here. This way, Inspector. Take a look in there, Jim. Mike, see if that window's been unlocked. Hey, Chief, look at what I found. Hey! Oh! A thousand pardons, Chief. Well, don't stand there like a big dumb ox. Go after them. After you, Chief. Sure. Go on, get out the window before they get away. Hurry up! Oh! He's coming out the window after us. Go on! John! Oh, my John! Oh! Hurry, look! 
you go? Take it easy now. Don't let him get away. Why don't you close that window, dope? Okay, Chief. I never thought of that. Why don't you watch? Oh, oh. be careful. All right, get going. Get going. Don't shout at me, Chief, or I'll go all to pieces. Want him to get away? Go ahead. Oh, I'm going to join in me badge. Listen to now. Don't be such a coward. There's nothing to be afraid of. Hey! Oh, a thousand pardons, Chief. I mean, <laughs> it's deep down there. <clears throat> I'll end up a couple of grease spots on the sidewalk. Come on. It's all right. All right. Hey, Dan. could see me now. I never learned this in police school. Hurry up. Hurry up. Do you realize I gotta do two things at once? I gotta hold on and hold up at the same time. Oh, why did I ever go on a cop? I'm going to get me a job up in the park, feeding the boys. No more, no more of this. Hey, Chief, there ain't no more building. No, just keep going. You'll find more around the corner. You're right, Chief. There is. Down the fire escape. Oh! Hey, Chief, they're going up the fire escape. The fire escape? The fire escape. Come on, Jim, up to the roof. Hey, you two. This ain't no place to play. Come back here. Oh, Johnny, hurry up. Hurry. Fine thing for an officer in the law to try to make a stick with that out of me. Can't get these things off. He's right behind you. I know. Hey, you two. Kick him off, kick him off. Oh, who put the lights out? I'm in a blackout. Somebody put the lights out. That's where they'll come up over there. Jim, you stay here. Because then she come with me. Gee, Chief, imagine meeting you guys up here. Uh, get down off of there. Now, come on, I want you to search the whole roof. You go that way. Look around. Wait a minute, Chief. I'll take care of this. What do you think you're doing? I'm letting them know we want to get in. They're not going to unlock the door. Break it down. Oh, Johnny, this is awful. You're telling me. Oh, the window. Not again. In here. Now, 
you'll just be quiet. We'll be safe in here. The window. What, again? Look out the window. Okay, Chief. And don't lean out too far. That's far enough. They're in here someplace. Give the place a good going over. Search over there. They're in the bedroom. Hey, Chief, there wasn't nobody on the ledge this time. No? No. Was anybody in here? No. Did you look in there? No. Well, let's look. Yes, we, yes let's look. Well, I knew you'd be around here someplace unless you sprouted wings. What have you got to say for yourself? Oh, Inspector, I know we've been a little We trouble. really didn't mean any harm. Oh, you've been a little trouble. You didn't mean any harm. It's down. Ah! Oh. Here, here, what is this? Here, my kid. Hey. Not me, Chief. Hey. Get her out of here. Come on, honey. Stab through the heart. Not a knife around here. Might call the coroner and tell we got another job for him. Okay, Chief. Kitty, it's Johnny. Are you all right? <laughs> oh, Johnny. This is awful. I don't say it's awful. Look at the mess you got us into. I didn't want to come here in the first place. I tried to leave the building two or three times. And so I end up in the same room that. Yeah, and it seems very strange that you were around when Mr. Wentworth was killed, too. Are you insinuating that we did this? I think it's gone beyond insinuation. Now, let's figure this thing out. I chase you all over the building. I find you in there with a dead man and trying to hide the body. That, to me, makes two and two. We weren't trying to hide him. We didn't even know he was there. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. Well, one thing I do know, as far as I'm concerned, you've been in and out of this apartment two or three times. Oh, I suppose we killed him by degrees. I don't know how you did it, but I do know that I'm holding you for murder, and this time I'm going to make it stick. Why, Inspector, I'm surprised at you. You mean that in a short time we were here, we grabbed Mr. Downs, stabbed him, then got rid of the knife, then dragged him into the tub, then turned out the lights and stood there waiting for you? Well, I don't know. Hey, Chief, I think she's got something there. Shut up. All right, all right. Hello, Doc. We want you to come right over. Oh, it ain't Doc. Well, get Doc. I want to talk to Doc. Now, another if thing. If you ask my opinion, I can tell you who could have done it. Well, now, who is it you so cleverly figured out as the murderer? Why don't you send for Mrs. Wentworth and ask her some questions? Yeah, apartment 931. It's that Downs fella. He was stabbed. Grab your vanity case and come right over. It's murder. Murder? Yeah, lady, moita, in the bathroom, in the tub. Oh, it can't be. Oh, Inspector, I can't believe it. I wouldn't go in there if I were you, Mrs. Wentworth. Sit down, please. Oh, Jerry. Jerry? I thought his name was Harry. His name was Jerry Benson. And what was the idea of posing as Harry Downs? Because he had a police record. I thought you was hiding something. Jerry, did you hear that? Honey, please. I know it might be a little difficult, Mrs. Wentworth, but I must ask you a few questions. Uh, you mind telling me where you've been for the last half hour? In the lobby. Can you prove it? Of course I can prove it. You can confirm it with the desk clerk. Why don't you check on that? Check on that, Mike. Okay, Chief. Give me the desk clerk. Listen, Miss O'Day, I'm thoroughly fed up with your constant insinuations. I tried to overlook them the first time. I tried to excuse them on the grounds of overzealousness or hysteria. But this time, there's no mistaking your purpose. You're determined to link me with these crimes. Well, from now on, you and Mr. Jones are no longer in the employ of Wentworth and Company. In other words, you're fired. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly clear, Mrs. Wentworth. And I want you to stay out of this case, unless I call you in. Now beat it. But remember, you're still under suspicion. Come on, Kitty. But listen, Inspector, if you'd end like... Come on, Kitty. Still. You see what happened? You accuse Mrs. Wentworth and she's absolutely innocent. And the Inspector's right. You've got to stop interfering in this case. And I'm the guy that's going to see that you're going to behave yourself from but now on. John. Not another word. You're right, bud. She's too nosy and she's too fresh. And it's up to you to see that she behaves herself. Who do you think you're talking to, mullethead? She's not nosy and she's not fresh. And she can do just as she pleases. Come on, Betty. Well, how do you like that, Chief? Mullethead. Boy, whoever killed that guy certainly worked fast. Yeah. 
You know, the murderer must have been in the apartment all the time. Well, then he was there. I was alone with him. Johnny. Oh, honey, don't worry about it. That's Inspector Clancy's headache. Yeah, but that cab driver might get suspicious and report you to the police. Will you stop worrying about it? What we've got to worry about is finding a couple of jobs. We're out of work, remember? There are plenty of jobs. You see, the thing I can't understand is why the police didn't search Mr. Wentworth's office. Yeah, there might have been something in his private papers that would have given them a clue. I remember he had a strong box. I've seen it lots of times. Mm-hmm. Johnny, do you suppose he put the... Now, wait a minute. We're not going back to that office. No? No, ma'am. I'm fired. I have no business there. And as sure as fate, if we go back there, somebody will catch us and we'll be in another jam. That's out. Yes, Inspector. There's two of them in there. And they're giving the place a going over. Well, you stick close to the office and don't let them get away. Yeah, we'll be right over. Come on, Mike. Johnny, put that down. Bourbon? I never would have believed it. Yeah. Bourbon! Keep your mind on what you're looking for. Hey, Kitty, you're the securities. Ah! Oh, Johnny! Johnny! Kitty, it's Johnny! another one. This child's a butler. Oh, Johnny, when is this going to stop? I don't know, but we're getting out of here. Come oh! <laughs> oh! Inspector! You two again. This is getting monotonous. Is there, there's something terrible. There's a, it's, I want to see. The butler. Every time I see you with somebody, they're dead. I know it looks bad for us, oh, I know, I know. You didn't know anything about it. He was dead when you got here. That's right, Inspector. Well, this time I'm going to lock you up for sure. If I wait any longer, there won't be anybody left in the case to question. Well, Listen, Inspector. Quiet, Wendell. please. What were you doing here anyway? We were looking for Mr. Wentworth's strong box. Yeah, we thought we might find something that would give us a clue. Give us a clue? Give us a clue. I'll find all the clues. That's what I'm getting paid for. And as far as that strong box is concerned, I'll find that too. That's why I'm here. I'll find it. Where is the strong box? It's over there. It's in the closet. The closet, I'll find out. Hey, what are you doing? Let's get out of here. Hey, hey where are you kids going? Okay, Chief, coming, Chief. Now, you two ain't gonna get out of here. Okay, Chief, just a second. Now, you stay here and don't move. Hurry, darling. Where are they? They're over there. Gee, they got away. Here, let them get away. Well, you was hollering, so I want to let you out of that hot closet before you're sophisticated. Don't stand there looking at me. Go after them. Okay, Chief. Hey, Chief. That guy acts like he's dead. Oh, uh, yeah? He's not the only one around here who acts like he's dead. Now get going. Okay, Chief. Hey, Chief. I can't open the door. They locked us in. Oh, fine, fine. Hello, Kelly. This is Inspector Clancy. I want you to send the coroner over to Wentworth's office in the Burkett building. Yes, yes, we got another one. And send out a general arm for Johnny Jones and Kitty O'Day for murder. And when you get them, lock them up and send somebody over here to unlock us. That's bad, isn't it, Johnny? Are you kidding? What do we do? Oh, you thought of everything before. You better start thinking of something now. No. Now it's in your hands. Oh, fine. You get us into this mess and then leave it to me to get us out. Fine. Yes. Now, listen, we can't go through the rest of our lives ducking cops. Especially me, with $100,000 worth of securities in my pocket. Oh. Listen, now that you mention it, you better let me keep them, because you're too careless. I think we ought to turn them over to the police. Are you crazy? We've both been in jail. But we need a good lawyer. And I know just the one. The charge the police have against you is resisting arrest and running off with the securities. Now, my advice is to turn them over to me and then hide out until I have a talk with the district attorney. Okay. 
Where will we hide? Well, you can stay at my place. They never find you there. Well. I'll drop you off on my way to the district attorney's office. Oh, thanks very much, Mr. Jeffers. That's very kind of you. Uh, no, Johnny. On second thought, I think we'd better go directly to the police ourselves and not bother Mr. Jeffers. Now, don't be silly, honey. We need Mr. Jeffers' help. Johnny, we'd better go directly to the police ourselves. Now, listen, baby. Don't... I assure you, Miss O'Day, it won't put me out one bit. Well... I'm only too glad to be of service. Shall we go now? Yes. Well, I'm glad that's settled. John. Huh? Uh. Let's take a cab, shall we? You don't know what you're doing for us, Mr. Jeffers. Think nothing of it. Two twenty-four Front Street, driver. Yes, sir. Hey, buddy, ain't you the guy that was having an argument with a gal and said you could kill somebody? And I'll sing that a guy by the name of Wentworth was murdered? Never mind about that, driver. You just watch the road. Okay, mister, okay. Thanks, Mr. Jeffers. For a minute, I uh, thought I was in trouble. You're right, driver. This man is a murderer. Kitty, what are you saying? Go ahead, driver. Take it to the police station. This man is a dangerous character. Ah, now you're kidding me, lady. A fine time to kid. <laughs> driver, the young lady's a little upset. Take us to 224 Front Street. Okay, mister. Keep the change. You live in this neighborhood, Mr. Jeffers? Yeah, so don't find the exterior. I have a lovely apartment, sort of a hideaway. Shall we go in? What a break, they'll never find us here. I hope not. That don't look kosher to me. Right here. Hey, what is this? Kitty, something tells me we shouldn't be here. That's what I've been trying to tell you ever since we left his office. It's all very clear now. Our friend Mr. Jeffers is a murderer. Wait! Come on, get down here. Now, let's get out of business. Hand over those securities. I haven't got them. And Miss O'Day must have them. No, I don't know where they are. Oh, you don't, what? eh? Look out. Let me see what we got in here. They're not here. No, I told you I didn't know where they were. Now, if you two think we're here to play games, you've got another thing coming. All right, boys, frisk him. Take your hands off me. Hey, boy, Johnny, quiet! Get down here, you. Are you sure they're the same two you saw on the night of Wentworth's murder? I'm absolutely certain. A tall, dark-haired fellow and a red-haired girl? Yep, that's them. That's Kitty and her boyfriend again. This time, I'm going to lock them up for keeps. Where did you say you left them? 224 Front Street. Come on, let's go. Mike? Have some of the boys follow us in the squad car. Okay, Chief. Leave me alone, will you? I tell you, I haven't got them, and I don't know where they are. Stop it! Stop it! He's telling the truth. He doesn't Come know on. where All they right, are. All right, boys. You know where they are? Spike, turn the water on in the tub. Okay, boss. Now do you get the idea? Beg pardon, sir. Bath is ready, and it's the right temperature, too. Oh, Mr. Jeffers, you can't do this. We're telling the truth, I swear it. Which one? Why, Spike? Ladies first, always. Okay. <gasps> come on, sister. <gasps> no! Oh, come on. No! Come Johnny! On. Now, wait a minute. Mr. Jeffers, I insist you take me first. All right. <gasps> oh! Johnny! Oh! 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 oh no, you don't! I'll take care of you! Let's 
hurry up. Step on it. Come on. You cover the back. The rest of you come with me. Come on. Oh. Hey, Barnes, it's the cops, and they're coming in. In here. All right, open the door. Open this door. Back out, Mike. This down in here. Oh, Johnny! Johnny! All right, open Daddy. the door. Stand aside, Chief. I'll take a run at it. A little further back, Chief. That's right, Inspector. He fooled me, but uh, he didn't fool Kitty. He didn't fool me either. I checked on him. He's not a lawyer. He's a crook who dealt in stolen bonds. And, and when Wentworth realized that Jeffers incriminated him, he skipped to South America with the bonds. That's right. Now, Jeffers got smart, so he... So he went to Wentworth's house to get the securities from Wentworth and drowned him. Yes. Now, uh, Harry Downs, or Jerry Benson, he was... He was in on the deal, too. That's why Jeffers eliminated him. Yes, yes, yes. Now, Charles the butler... Well, Charles the butler... He was he, in it, too, so he went to Wentworth's office figuring to double-cross everybody, and Jeffers anticipated that. Yes, and the and next... he killed Charles, and before he could get the securities, we frightened him away. Yes. Why, Inspector, that's your whole case. Well, thanks. I don't know what I'd ever do without you two. I guess I'm just a big, stupid lug. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Inspector. You're not so big. All right, boys. Take him out of here. All right, come on. Let's get go. your hands up. Yes, sir. All right, stop pushing. All right, keep on going. Now, Mike, I want you to pick up Mrs. Wentworth. Where's Mike? Well, oh, Mike! Yes, Chief? Where are you? I'm in here, Chief. And it ain't Saturday night, either. As far as the murders are concerned, you two kids are in the clear. But I still have to hold you on the matter of those securities. Oh, well, if that's all that's worrying you, forget it. What do you mean? I hid them right here in this cab. You did? Where are they? Here. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no, not again. Mike. Yes, Chief. Give me a badge. There's one for you and one for you. Mike. Yes, Chief. We're retired. A thousand thanks, Chief. A thousand thanks. <laughs> 